Hello cuties and welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new. I'm Cora and today I am back with another CC haul. We're gonna look at around 100 items of CC today so as always grab a snack, grab a drink, relax, sit back, let's just talk about life. As always you can find all of the links of today's video in the description down below either on my Tumblr or a Google Doc whichever you prefer and yeah <laughs> with that put aside let's Let's get right into this. There's actually so many cute CC items that I was really really excited for. There's especially some like lingerie things that I thought were adorable and there's this one green swatch that I seem to be obsessed with when I showcase these items because um, I don't know if you know this or if I've ever talked about it but I download all of this stuff and then I put it in my game and you look like seeing me looking through this is the first time that I actually ever see the CC like I don't go through everything first because you know I want to experience it along with you guys so um, I was just obsessed with this one green swatch I'm sure you'll see it because I pick it for every single one of the items in that specific set but um, yeah I don't know <laughs> uh, there's just like a specific type of green that for the last few months maybe even a year or so I have just completely been obsessed with I think it's so 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 pretty and it, it just suited the sim that we're using today very well and I was just really excited about it <laughs> but um, yeah I actually am trying to pre-record currently it is Friday the 25th and my boyfriend is gonna visit me for a few days and um, it's just been extra tough to pre-record so um, when you see this it's actually like the end of the pre-recording time and you'll see new videos again so it's kind of pointless saying this now but <laughs> you know I'll just I want to I want you guys to feel like you're part of this whole journey you know to like pre-recording and I feel like anyone who creates content knows how stressful it is to pre-record and then obviously the new gameplay pack has come out and I try to pre-record for that but it was kind of tough because as you probably all know it's been super super buggy and it was just very hard yesterday I pretty much spent all day testing the pack out and I wanted to try like a little wedding out with some other sims than the ones I was going to use for the video there would be would have been some for my current household and I was just I just thought it would be nice to like get an insight on my current household whilst also experiencing the new pack together but Oh my god, I had a wedding and everything went wrong. Like, you can, I don't know, you've probably seen other people play the game pack, gameplay pack, but you can click on certain things and have the whole wedding party do certain things. In theory, I'm gonna say this, in theory, because it never worked, not even once. People never did anything I wanted them to. Even the couple that got married barely did what I wanted them to. So it was just a whole ordeal and it was so annoying. Uh, let me tell you that. It was just so frustrating. I was like, nah, until this is fixed, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna record a video with this because we're just gonna sit here and be like what the actual heck is going on and I'm sure you like if you would have been interested in checking out things about the gameplay pack I'm sure you would have turned to sims who got early sim creators who got early access to it so you know I'm sure you sorted out in on information about the gameplay pack and I do not recommend it at this current state unless they do come out with a patch which I don't know if they will because if you guys know the whole drama about Dine Out, that gameplay pack has honestly been bugged for the longest time. It's just so awful. You take your sims out. I actually tried it again recently. Took my sims out to a little dinner which I thought would be nice and romantic and... Oh, I think it took them four hours to finally get their food. Imagine sitting at a restaurant for four hours until you get your food. You know, I'm like a very... Well, I'm not a calm person, but like out and about when there's like when I'm getting served something or whatever at a restaurant, I am very patient with things and I'm like, I'm sure this is just, you know, like a little mix up or maybe they're very stressed today. There's a lot of people, whatever. I'm just like very patient when it comes to my food at restaurants, but four hours, like even I would be like, um, excuse me, do you just forget about me for the last four hours? <laughs> you know, um, it's just a bit of a drama, but yeah that's that's <laughs> pretty much what I went through yesterday so it was very difficult to pre-record also I had an exam on Tuesday the 22nd of February it will be March when you see this um, so 
I, I, yeah, I'll probably know how it went by then. I have no freaking clue how it went. It was an open book exam, which means you're allowed to use all of the notes or books or whatever that you use, but it, it doesn't really matter. You can use anything is the idea, but um, it sounds very good. I had a lot prepared because I watched all of the lectures. I read the book we were supposed to read, which, oh my God, it was about statistics. So oh, I don't ever want to talk about statistics ever again in my life. It was so boring to just read about it for like a thousand pages or whatever. Um, not really ideal, but I got through it, had all of my notes, you know, but once you get into the exam, it's not questions that you can easily find on your documents. It's not like, what is XYZ called? You know, what does XYZ mean? It's like, we got a bunch of different study results that you had to read and then you had to like uh, compare different um, terms with each other. It was just like a whole, like very complicated. It wasn't super easy to reply because you had the notes. It was awful <laughs> and I am praying to whoever that I pass this exam because I do not want to take statistics again, which I'm pretty sure I have to take statistics too again in the future. Um, yeah, wish me luck with my life in general, I guess. <laughs> um, but that was awful and it was very hard to record videos during that time. I tried to pre-record, but um, as I got closer to the exam, I knew I just needed to focus on studying. So I did that. And as you probably saw, there was like a bit, a bit fewer videos than I usually upload. I tried to aim for four times a week, which hasn't happened in forever because the videos that I record for you guys, the ones that you actually enjoy watching or seem to enjoy watching, um, take a longer time to record and edit and whatever. So I usually focus on the ones that you guys enjoy and then just focus on creating less content, but content that we all like, you know, and CC holes are just one of those. Um, it takes quite a long time to put everything together and I know you guys enjoy it and I actually love creating these videos I don't think I will ever get tired of them honestly I just enjoy new CC so much I enjoy seeing it all in my game creating sims with it stuff like that is just so fun for me and um, yeah <laughs> I'd rather focus on that than you know pushing out a lot of content that none of us really enjoy that much so it was just it's just a bit complicated to pre-record um, life kind of gets in the way sometimes you know at the end of the day I'm still like a student and I have to like <laughs> focus on that that as well even though trust me I would 100% prefer to just focus on YouTube and have my uni as like the side hustle whilst it's the opposite way around right now but it's whatever um, also how are you guys doing how rude of me we're eight minutes into this video and I haven't even asked you guys how you're feeling how is everyone feeling I hope you're doing great I know the world um, has been kind of going wild these last few well for you weeks for me it's just a day <laughs> um there's been like a big big mess with ukraine and russia i don't want to get into it too much because i don't like to get super political on this channel i think everyone who watches me will know that i'm obviously against anything to do with violence and wars and um it's just for me it's such a <sighs> slap to the face that went in 2022 and things like that currently happen all the time still and it's so frustrating and I wish I could do something you know but at the end I'm just like a freaking 26 year old sitting at my desk recording videos so I don't really have any power to change anything though I wish I would be able to change things for the better for everyone on this planet unfortunately I can't um obviously I'm I don't know I just it's so hard to talk about it as well because it's obviously such a complicated topic as well and then I was on Twitter earlier and um I read someone comment very unrelated on this someone saying something about the wedding pack how people or how content creators should focus more on like current politics or whatever and should say something about the Ukraine thing and for me it's very hard because there ever since I had this channel there has been war in different countries you know um just because now it happened closer to home for European people it's it just feels a bit wrong to address it now when countries like Syria you know had big issues for years and years and it's just I don't know it's hard for me because I feel like this is not the platform to discuss it um, obviously if someone would ask me a question I could tell them my opinion but I'm also not like 
that deep into politics to be able to explain everything that went wrong you know i have like a brief knowledge of things that are going wrong but i don't know everything in depth and i find it so hard to say the right words to people who are in the situation because all i can say is that it sucks and i don't really you know there's not much i can say and like i said this doesn't feel like the platform you we're all here to have a great time we're all here to discuss things about life sometimes positive sometimes negative obviously life can be negative too but um i feel like we just tried to relax a little bit while it's playing the sims and if you want to see things that are like informative about the whole topic there's like documentaries reports there's the news you know i feel like those are much better platforms to get an insight of what's going on than my little sims channel where we're just a bunch of normal people trying to <laughs> enjoy um the 10 minutes of life that you know um we're spending with this video but yeah i don't know let me know how you guys feel about it do you think that creators should always be on top of everything that happens politically and always make a statement accord uh, like statement focusing on everything that's going on or do you think it's not the right platform for everyone to speak about it um yeah I, I don't know maybe if i had like a bigger reach i would i don't know i haven't it just feels a bit wrong because i'm not that knowledgeable about it but um if you live in either of those two countries just know that you know um, a lot of people think about you and a lot of people have compassion is that the word I hope so <laughs> with you guys and it sucks and I do hope that things change for the better but yeah with that said the video is coming to an end I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you all next time bye